I think pluralism essentially is about seeing beyond oneself. We're all members of communities, we're proud of our communities, but we live in a world that is multiple communities. Pluralism is a state of mind that causes you to look beyond yourself. That's simply a recipe for living in this modern world. Uh, it's becoming more and more essential. Pluralism is what will bind us together and help us maintain our diversity and our communities in the face of this rising wave of autocracy. The world is rather messy presently and I believe many of us are very, very concerned with the developments at the global scale between countries, between powers. And what is inspiring when we look at the final candidates is how they do not fear the fact that so many things are developing in the wrong direction, but they are ready to reach out to others and make a contribution, even if small. What's most interesting about the award is that we're finding instance after instance where after the institutions have given up, individuals have moved in and made a real difference. The richness of those submissions, the courage of the people who are working, the way I like to describe it, swimming against the tide, standing up for people and the tenacity that they displayed, the vision, uh, and many times they were facing impossible challenges. What struck me most about the finalists is their work on governance and institutions and laws, which allow to really solidify the work that they're doing. The greater good is that we have demonstrated that there are ways in which people, ordinary people, can affect the world we live in. These finalists have made a remarkable contribution to pluralism. Together they are building more inclusive societies so that wherever a person lives, there they should belong, they should not be excluded. I invite you to join me in congratulating our 2021 Global Pluralism Award finalists.